डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग इन द प्रीवियस थ्री लेक्चर्स यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग फंडामेंटल्स नेचर ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग इमेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन टूडेज लेक्चर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रीड इट केयरफुली आफ्टर द कम्पटिशन ऑफ लेक्चर यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग सिस्टम and fundamental steps in digital image processing let us start one by one first is elements of digital image processing systems diagram shows the required elements in digital image processing system first and foremost required equipment is image acquisition image acquisition is capturing the image by sensors some of the examples are video scanner and camera there is a requirement of mass storage also in digital image processing mass storage is required for keeping or storing image it is of three types depending upon the type of application and type of processing first is short term storage which is used during the process only second is online storage which is used for relatively fast recall and third is archival storage which is for infrequent access there is a requirement of processing unit as well it is used for image processing it may be a general purpose computer or super computer it may have some image processing hardwares or image processing softwares as well display unit display is used to visualize image so that required operation can be performed some of the examples of display units are tv monitor printer slides projectors etc so these are the basic elements which is required for any digital processing system next is fundamental in digital image processing fundamental steps of digital image processing have been shown in the figure diagram does not imply that every process is applied to an image rather than it conveys all the methodologies that can be applied to image for different purposes and possibly with different objectives here various blocks have been shown these blocks are showing the operations being performed on the image problem domain so knowledge is about a problem domain which is coded an image processing system then first and foremost required step is image acquisition acquisition is defined as the action of retrieving an image from source usually a hardware based source or process of processing it is a first step without an image no processing is possible the image which is acquired is completely unprocessed therefore we can say that image acquisition stage involves pre processing such as scaling various objects have been shown via which image can be captured next stage is image enhancement it is the simplest and most appealing area of digital image processing it is the process of adjusting digital images so that the results are more suitable for display or further image analysis like here you can see this is a original image and by applying image enhancement operation at the output we are getting this image which is more enhanced in nature so image enhancement involves brightness contrast adjustment removal of noise etc image enhancement 
process is purely subjective in nature. Some people may like high resolution images while some may like natural color. So here also some more pictures have been taken where output is the enhanced form of the input image. Next is image restoration. It is the process of recovering an image that has been degraded by some knowledge or degradation function and additive noise term. It is completely objective in nature. Here this is the input image and image restoration operation is being performed and at the output you can see that this is more clear image from where analysis is very much easy. So it is the operation of taking a corrupt or noisy image and estimating the clean or the original image. Morphological image processing. It deals with tools for extracting image components that are useful in the representation and description of shape means input will be definitely any image but at the output will be getting either some components or the attributes which represents the boundaries or any other will gives us any other pictorial presentation like here you can see that there are two images input images have been taken one is of horse one is of a person and after applying mor morphological processing operation see we are getting the boundary image next step is segmentation it is the process of partitioning an image that is computer tries to separate objects from the image background it is one of the most difficult task in image processing here you can see that this is the input image and after performing segmentation we are getting this kind of image from where certain objects or certain parts can be extracted for the further analysis segmentation can be done in a very systematic manner like in this image first it is being segmented into two rows two columns then one square can be taken and further it can be segmented into two by two again a small block can be taken it will be further segmented into 2 cross 2 again a small block is being taken segmented into 2 cross 2 again a, so segmentation is a repetitive process and it is being performed until unless desired action or desired thing we are not able to achieve there are three possible techniques of segmentation autonomous segmentation rugged segmentation and erratic segmentation out of these three, rugged segmentation is long way to get successful solutions. You will study image enhancement, image segmentation, image compression in detail in coming units. Next step is object recognition. This step is for identifying and recognizing the object that is present in image here you can see that a object like car can also be identified in this image number of persons are there so each and individual can also be identified and highlighted next step is representation and description as the name implies there are two terms one is representation and other is description representation deals with converting the data into a suitable form for computer processing representation may be of two types one is boundary Boundary representation focuses on external shape, characteristics such as corners or inflections. 
other type is reason. Reason representation focuses on internal properties like texture and skeleton shape. The other term which is the description it is also known as feature selection. It deals with extracting image attributes. Next and very important stage is the image compression. We used to perform a number of operations in the daily life. We have to share image via social media with our friends. We try to minimize or reduce the size of the image. But sometimes the quality of image may also be degraded. In general, image compression may be of two types, lossless and lossy compressions. So compression as the name implies it deals with techniques for reducing the storage require, required to save an image or the bandwidth required to transmit it. Like JPEG image is suitable for the transmission as per the required bandwidth here you can see a same image in different sizes original image size is 116 kb while in second picture it has been reduced to 12.9 kb and in the third one it has been reduced to 1.95 kb so how many techniques of image compressions are there and how to perform them we'll study in detail next is color image processing Color image processing, it is a very popular area because of the use of digital images over the internet. Color is also used in and the basic of for extracting features of interest in image. According to the theory of human eye, all colors are seen as variable combination of the three so-called primary colors, red, green and blue. Secondary colors can be produced by the combination of the binary colors. One combination for the secondary color is cyan, magenta and yellow. Here you can see one is the image formation with the primary color and second with the secondary colors. Several other useful models are This is YUV, HSI, YI, Q. These are the other models as well. Commonly used is RGB model. Then CMY model is also used. So all of these things will study in detail. So here what you have studied, you have studied the basic elements of digital image processing systems required then you have studied about the fundamental steps of digital image processing where you have studied about what is the major or the basic operation required for the each and every stage thank you students